Another night, another sleeper train. This one, however, is currently delayed by 35, oh, 40 minutes, and it keeps ticking upwards, so we'll see. But thank goodness they have bathrooms at the station that are locked. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? They can't find the bathrooms. Which push? They're locked. That's disappointing. That's a little harder for me than it is for you. <laughs> but on the bright side, the train is now 40 minutes late. I should have gotten that sheetly. Because with a sheetly, you just open your fly, you poke it through, and your bottom is covered. Hour late. But wait, there's more. In the spirit of adventure. Apparently, and this is horrible, there was an accident with the train on the way here that it hit somebody. So our night train to Rome has just been canceled. We were two hours late. That's very, is cold. <laughs> <laughs> so we're stuck in this small town in Sicily. We are supposed to fly out of Rome tomorrow to go to Croatia. We have our certain date that we can enter Croatia because of the visa there and all that. So there are no options to get back. We're trying to hop another train, but the tracks are all closed to get to Palermo to fly to Rome. And then Chris, found an agent because there's another train that can't get that way because they're because of the accident so he went and asked one of the conductors who spoke english very nice guy there is supposed to be a bus now to pick us up and take us to the far east port on sicily where we will take a ferry across to the mainland and then load up on another train to hopefully get to rome on schedule we will see this sounds like a lot of different missing moving pieces. More to follow. <laughs> but at least it's adventurous. It is true. And I hope this bus comes soon. I'm sorry, you're cold. <laughs> Chuffalo just doesn't want to let us go. No. <laughs> many, many minutes later. Um, boom. Boom. So for those of you following along at home, we started there. We're currently there. We still have to get all the way up there. I don't know about how, but apparently it's gonna work. We do have a um, sleeper cabin. So, and the sign out front did say we're going to Rome. So we're crossing our fingers. So this is a kit. Four waters, toothbrush, slippers, uh, soap, tissue, Nail file. <laughs> I don't know what these are. Germ gel. Oh, cool. Yeah, these are cool. So we're on a train. It's not moving yet. We were at the train station for three hours. They put us on a bus with no bathrooms. <laughs> and they didn't even tell us. We were on the bus for four hours. All of a sudden, people started getting off the bus. They didn't tell us five minutes. Dude, it's now five in the morning. We just got to Messina. Yeah, Messina. Where and we've got like a private train now. This train is going to go into a ferry and then go across the strait and then up to Rome. We are going to go on the water with a train. So I'm glad I'm awake, at least for the moment. And uh, I wish somebody told us how long this is supposed to take. <laughs> This is the last train in Europe that does this, that puts the train onto a ferry and takes it across. We fly out at 6 p.m. tonight. Are you sure? We don't know how long it's gonna take us to get to Rome and that's the central station. It's another hour to get to the airport from there. So, eh, we're just gonna have our fingers crossed. But they're sounding the alarms, yep. so that means it's and probably- And we actually get to lay flat because I thought we're, we're moving. Would you like some cool, pure, smart, green water from Sardinia, Italy. Absolutely. No aftertaste. That's pretty impressive. Tastes good. Oh, that is good. Of course, the bathroom in the other train, this one was locked, <coughs> so, but the bathroom in the other train was disgusting. So maybe not drink too much. Hey, we're moving. We're rolling onto the ferry. I'm glad we didn't miss this. I know, this is cool. Railroad tracks on the ferry. Mattresses are actually really comfortable. I'm really glad we didn't miss this. Because this is really unique. Now to get some sleep before we get to Rome.
totally freaking out, man. Well, it's almost three o'clock and we haven't made it to Rome yet. So we still need to buy our ticket to get to the airport, then check our luggage. But I did see that our plane is 40 minutes late. So please let us go to Croatia. There's still hope. Tonight, I meant tonight, tonight. Be more specific. <laughs> We can definitely say that this is an adventure. Might be overusing that word. I think we've got a combined total of two hours sleep in the last like 30 hour, 40 hours. And once we get to split, if we get there, then we just grab a little nap and then hop a bus to go down to Dubrovnik, which is where we'll be for the next couple weeks. Ideally. Uh, <laughs> Ideally. My, I've had this quite high. It's making my hands do odd things. <laughs> But I haven't puked yet and I feel much better. We are going to be in enough of a real world hurry when we get to the train station that I'm not going to be filming. We're just going to be walking very fast. So uh, hopefully we'll catch you from the airport. Thanks to assistance from a lot of great staff, we made it <laughs> to the train to the airport. Oh. One minute to spare. You notice we're already moving. <laughs> we were beating on the machine trying to get it to print faster. Now, let's see what happens at the airport. But now I can exhale. We should be at the airport plenty of time to check in. But we don't want to be too cocky with, you know, the way the last 48 hours has gone. <laughs> Obviously, we made it through security. Well, I'm glad we're not having to run, because so far we've had to walk through two shopping malls and the equivalent of about four racetracks and now we're getting on a train and we still haven't gotten to our gate and we haven't been wasting time. And we had to go through passport control twice. But now we are passported out. Well, we're here. Now we're deciding how we're getting the rest of our way to split. <laughs> we're being brave and trying the bus. What's this luck? We're on a bus. That's a very good sign. Yeah. <laughs> getting closer. And it's less than half the price we thought it was going to be. We just got to Croatia. Uh, we had to get something to eat. We got kebab before we head to Dubrovnik in the morning, bright and early. <laughs> we'll be definitely back to split soon. And definitely check it out. Before we get on the bus, we have to change money and the rate is so much better than at the airport. <laughs> we went around town looking for a breakfast place, but couldn't really find one that didn't have just coffee. So we settled for drinkable yogurt and meat and cheese. We're short on time, so this is all we have. This is actually the train station, not the bus station. But the bus station is just around the corner, and this has comfortable seating. Now, that one's just a bench, and there's a lot of people on that one bench. I will keep on holding my head high, even if the sky is falling down. Well, we're gonna have a great view, but there is absolutely no space. Yeah, no leg room whatsoever. For those, who get carsick? This, this is the seat. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so if you're gonna go on this bus, the very front and top is amazing for the view. I'm loving this, but there is no leg room whatsoever. But I don't think there's any leg room on the entire bus. It does not seem that there is, and there's no space for a backpack or anything. So if you bring your backpack, you get to carry it on your lap. At least me, I've got Kate sitting next to me. The poor guys next to us, they're both as tall as me. <laughs> they're shoved in with two backpacks. But our view. <laughs> yeah. The view. Yeah. I'm so glad we booked this one. I would say next stop to Brubnik. However, it's next stop, Bosnia. On this trip, we have to go into Bosnia and then out of Bosnia. So we will actually hit country 46. 46 is Croatia and 47 will be Bosnia. Yeah. What? Yeah. 
to get with our passports. <laughs> we made it. We made it to Dubrovnik. See you tomorrow. We have a wonderful woman who's going to lead us to our lodging. Keep drinking this coffee. <laughs> Leave the thumbs up and subscribe. No, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>